Welcome back to the Lackluster Channel. This is an older story, but once again demonstrates the need for body cams and dash cams, both operated by private citizens and public servants. On August 28, 2016, it was pulled over for an expired license plate sticker. The traffic stop resulted in the arrest of and the seizure of 17 pounds of vacuum-packed marijuana. A short excerpt of the dash cam video was obtained from authorities by attorneys. The video starts as Officer Eric Schmidtke returns to Mr. S vehicle to hand him a ticket. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Before I let you go, do you have anything in the car I need to be worried about? No. Okay. Do you mind if I have my canine officer walk your car? Absolutely fine. I've done nothing wrong. Okay. I should be free to leave. Well, you're not free to leave. You're still on a traffic stop. Okay. Okay. I don't think that's right. I think I should be able to be free to leave. Well, you're not free to leave, so... She'll do what she'll do. You don't have to get out of the car if you don't want to. The choice is entirely up to you. What that? Okay. You can have your driver's license back as soon as the stop is completed, okay? Well, it's completed because I'm not finished yet. He doesn't want to get out of the car, so I let him know that... Like, we're going to have the dog walk around his car. He doesn't want to get out. He doesn't feel that he shouldn't have to. So I let him know that the traffic stop is not completed. So. After a short back and forth with the officer on whether or not the traffic stop was over, a canine handler approaches and explains the upcoming search. Traditionally, officers can use the odor of weed to justify a warrantless vehicle search, and whatever turns up could be used as evidence in court. And that is still true in the minority of states where marijuana remains illegal. However, the legal analysis is more complicated in places where pot has been approved for medical or recreational use. With the legality of marijuana, odor by itself can no longer be considered evidence of a crime. For example, a recent case in Pennsylvania found that state police didn't have a valid legal reason for searching a car just because it smelled like cannabis, since the front seat passenger had a medical marijuana card. The search yielded a loaded handgun and a small amount of marijuana in an unmarked plastic baggie, and that evidence was eventually suppressed by the judge. Similarly, Colorado Supreme Court ruled that because a drug detection dog was trained to sniff for marijuana, which is legal in the state, police could not use the dog's alert to justify a vehicle search. All of that said, this incident was in Illinois and in 2016, and because marijuana was illegal at the time, the odor alone justified a warrantless search of the vehicle. The following portion of dash cam video is what caused this case to go sour. Um, I don't know if you already asked me, is there anything in there at all? Have you done anything in there recently? Why did you say you switched it? No, 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 no. Did you see when you ran it? I don't know who that is. It's him. I get that, but I don't know who, I don't know who that is, but what I'm saying. So he's, uh, yeah, it looks like one or two tires for 30 minutes of the Okay. I didn't look at that part. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 No, no, no. Officer Schmidtke admits to Officer Sharon Freund that he could not smell anything and that the cause for the warrantless search was based off prior convictions. The canine alerted to the rear of the vehicle and Mr. was arrested for possession with intent to deliver. However, on October 20th, all charges were dropped. In his police report, Officer Schmidtke wrote that he detected the slight odor of cannabis emitting from inside the motor vehicle, but in the dash cam video, he admits to not smelling it. No, no, no. 
and seems as though he was encouraged to lie about it by Officer Freund to slip in a search. I don't know. Because the search was without warrant by admission of the officer, the evidence would have likely been suppressed. Mr. went on to file a federal lawsuit against the city and both officers Schmidtke and Freund. By November 17th, Officer Schmidtke resigned from the department and it appears as though Officer Freund is still employed. Mr. was awarded $80,000. The state's attorney's office failed to pursue charges against Officer Schmidtke for perjury, even though he lied on a police report and allegedly to a grand jury. Not all departments use dash cams and body cams, and until they do, protect yourself by checking out my recommendations in the description for dash cams of different values. Thank you for watching. If you have a video you'd like me to review, email me, submit it on my website or through Facebook Messenger. All those links are down below. Philip, before I let you go, do you have anything in the car I need to be worried about? No. Okay. Do you mind if I have my canine officer walker car? Absolutely mine. I've done nothing wrong. Okay. I should be free to leave. Well, you're not free to leave. You're still on a traffic stop. Okay. Okay. I don't think that's right. I think I should be able to be free to leave. Well, you're not free to leave. So she'll do what she'll do. You don't have to get out of the car if you don't want to. The choice is entirely up to you. Okay. What's that? You can have your driver's license back as soon as the stop is completed, okay? okay. Well, it's completed because I'm not finished yet. doesn't want to get out of the car so I let him know that, that we're gonna have the dog walk around his car he doesn't want to get out he doesn't feel that he should have to so I let him know that the traffic stop is not completed so That concludes our video for today. Please subscribe and turn on all notifications so you never miss a video. If you're old here, like, share, comment down below what you think of this interaction and consider a channel membership or merch to further support the channel. If you have an incident you'd like us to review, link it down below or contact us through the social media platforms linked in the description.